I don't even see the professor over here now. So much for me turning in my Pokemon, right? Oh! I saw movement. No, 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 no. Ow, that hurt. Come on, grappler. Give me what I need. Give me my black oil sight. Ah, uh, dang it. Oh, yeah, I need to beat them with uh, fighting types, anyways. They say this lake actually used to be a volcano, then it erupted, leaving a huge crater that filled with water and so Lake Verity was born. It is protected by a Pokemon called Mesprit. It was when Mesprit took flight that people first learned the joys and sorrows of living. But that's how the old tales go anyway. Our phone is beeping. Hello there, entrance. The that cave. It just appeared from nowhere. Is that the arc phone the professor was going on about? What surprises wait within, I wonder. Miss Kogita seemed quite intent that you would have to prove yourself to all three of the Pokemon that guard these lakes. His challenge was never for the faint of heart. Eh, we'll be fine. Miss Pretty Uxie and ourselves shouldn't be that bad, I hope. The air feels somehow tense in here. An Alpha Gudra? A menacing Pokemon stands before you. Here's your Pokemon called History's Nobles. You can handle any battle cell. Yeah, I can. Gudra. Well, this is going to be a tough one. Because, I mean, dragon would be its weakness. Ice? I don't remember. Was ice capable? Do I dare try guard chomp? Eh, let's go with the bomb of snow. It's the safest bet. <laughs> Gotta get close enough. Gudra! Go with Bomb of Snow! Oh, 58 female Gudra. Strong style. Iron Tail. Iron super effective! I mean, steel is super effective against, uh, ice. Oh, hey, now I know ground is super effective. Fighting is super effective. I don't want to kill it, though. Because I don't know if I can catch it. Ah, uh, maybe? Agile style, high horsepower. No, no. Oh, landing perfect. 
Wait, the shelter heal? No stats were raised. It became obscured. Ultra Ball, go! Gotcha! Gujo was caught. Well, that's that. It's curious, but when I want you in your Pokemon battle, I feel as if there's no obstacle that can't be overcome if Pokemon and then people work together. Now let's see about the Pokemon delay. You feel a mysterious presence. Hello there, Mesprit. You are Mesprit, right? Or do I have you guys mix mixed up? I know exactly which one's as of, it's the blue one. Your emotions, share them with me. They're yours. I can imagine how I must feel to speak directly with a Pokemon like that. When you fell to this land, what stirred in your heart? Surprise, panic, bewilderment. How did it feel to bond with Pokemon and work together? Exciting. What did you feel when you mingled with Hisui's clans? They're all so different. It's a wide world. They're all so different. What did you feel when cursed out of the galaxy team? I feel bitter. Life is complicated. I accepted it. I mean, it's the only course of action that I did accept it. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. You obtained Mesprit's Plume. Proof that you have completed trial set by Mesprit, the being of a motion that lives in Lake Verity. This item is needed to forge the red chain. Can I catch you, Mesprit? Obviously not. I know that Pokemon spoke with you, yet the words did not reach my ears. This mysterious why I suppose when dealing with someone who fell from the sky, it's only natural to encounter mystery. Next on to Lake Valor and Lake Akirati. Okay. Well, that's one trial done. They're actually not as hard as I thought they were going to be. Though I did lose, you know, a Pokemon and a half. Looks like that worked out well, so. I must say, you know an awful lot about his we follow. I suppose a merchant like you has seen all sorts of things in her travels. That's right. You could say it's because I'm a merchant, but mostly I'm just naturally filled with curiosity. I want to know exactly what happened in the past that led us to this particular present. Or more accurately, I suppose. I want to know where I came from and where I'm headed. I want to know my past, so to speak. The same goes for me. Our clan settled at the very spot where four bears once beheld Almighty Sinnoh. But I, I still I have still never seen Almighty Sinnoh for myself. Weighty matters to ponder for sure, but we have an all-important task before us. If you want to return to Mistress Kogita's home. Yes, I need to rest my Pokemon. Perfect, I'd like to see what she thinks of our progress. I just want to rest, man. Oh, 
Ah, Miss Red's plume. So the legends told it true. And the red chain must be real as well. I beg your pardon, Kogita, ma'am. But what do these Pokemon that represent a mind have to do with this red chain and why exactly should it bind the world? Your doubt suggests a keen intellect. I see you're not your clan's leader for nothing. Without the mind, for the rift to widen in a very world to end, would we even know it? One might even say the world, time, space, all creation exists only because our minds are there to perceive it. Perhaps the Red Chain's purpose is to let one see creation as it truly is. I what? So does the mind create a world, but is it the other way around, or is it? Such a myth, my child. Teaching us about the world in their own incomprehensible ways. They are just to think more for ourselves in the nature of Almighty Sinnoh, than on the nature of the world in which we dwell. You're absolutely right. Myths and legends are just such fascinating things to study. In any case, all we have to do is to complete two more trials and we will get the red chain. How nonchalant you sound. How confident successes to which you contribute nothing. You tag along only for the chance to cock in more ancient ruins. That he does. That he does. So I can use her bed, right? Nope. Wait, so if I'm just, wait, what? How do I rest my Pokemon then? Am I literally still supposed to go back to the camps? Probably. Well, I guess off to the next area and I can rest my Pokemon there. Oh wait, they're rested already. When you come back here. Alabaster Iceland. Here we are. Lake Akira, do you know? I've been told it actually contains seawater as well. Nobody knows why though, it could be a fluke of geography or perhaps it's connected to a Pokemon somehow. Lake Acuity is protected by the Pokemon Yuxi. When the Yuxi took flight, the knowledge to solve problems was born in people's minds. That's what the story say anyway. Your phone is beeping. Don't be looking shocked, you've already seen this once before. A tool that can make caves simply appear from nowhere is quite a handy one to have. I wonder what's inside. Imagine there may be Pokemon in there to protect the lake's guardian, take care. But of course, one of the, uh, one of the protecting Pokemon can be shiny. I sense a chill in the air, what is this? Al Alpha Zoroark? Oh my! A menacing Pokemon stands before you. Could, could that be the dreaded, painful fox? Uh. Cobalt, Cordonet. No, Zoroark! What was your... What were you? You a normal ghost. So I'm assuming it's still some type of ghost. Which means dark type moves would work. Alright. Come on, Zoroark, let's do this. Oh, 58. Of course, you're doing agile style nasty plots. Defensive stats were lowered. 
Which means I should be able to do this with no problem, right? Punch, strong style. Ball. Got it. Yeah, we can't do it, boy. The painful fox is a Pokemon said to be filled with malice. We were told stories about it as children. Your mysterious presence. Okay, save the game after catching Zorark. What's up, Yuxi? Come, I will test your knowledge. Combi, Zubat, Unknown, Magneton, Dusclops. How many are there eyes? What? Tell me each one by one, yet all at once. Answer me. Oh my god, can you repeat that? Combi, Zubat, Unknown, Magneton, Dusclops. Uh, why is it? Why do I have to do math now? Homie is three. Technically, Zubat don't have eyes. So would that be zero or do they have two? So it would be z three, two, one. Um, Magneton, Magneton. Does Magneton have three? Yeah. Three, two, one, three, one. Three, two, one, three, one. Actually, does Comey have three or two? Oh my god. I'm gonna say three. Three, two, one, three, one. Enter your answers together as a series of numbers. Three, two, one, three, one. Answer me true, if answer you would. Wait, so I got that wrong? Really? Uh... Did I miss- what's Zubat zero? Let's get it. It, it. it always has its eyes closed. <laughs> Dust Clops obviously is one. Oh. See, I was thinking of each section of Combi as just one eye. They had six. I think that might be why I messed up. So six, one. Yeah, that's probably why I messed up. In fact, it definitely is. <laughs> um. Hmm. 
Yeah, see, Zubat don't even have eyes. So it's six zero one three one. I haven't even seen a Magneton. I haven't seen a Magnemite or a Magneton at all. So six zero one three one. 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 Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. Thank God I can fail that one. <laughs> How dare they d d make me do math, man. How dare they make me do math. Because again, I, I wasn't sure if Zubat always had their eyes closed or they just never had them to begin with. I couldn't remember. Magneton... I know Magnemite has one eye. Magneton is three of them combined. So that would then technically be three. Combi. I've never gotten a close look at Combi before. <laughs> or I never really bothered to. So I thought each of the three sections was one. No. They had each section has two. <laughs> Goodness, that was tricky, but only one more to go now. Never give me math questions again. How dare you? I assume all went well, Cell. So. so I must wonder, why don't they just give us the red chain? Why all this running about? Perhaps they mean to test whether whoever seeks it is worthy. Perhaps you are right. Who knows what would happen if it fell into the wrong hands after all? You mean yours? Though on the other hand, what use would those wrong hands have for it? Who can say for sure? Maybe the red chain has some other use besides mending the world. The red chain is as myster mysterious as this entire predicament we're in. But if we continue visiting the lakes, we'll get closer to an answer. So shall we return to Mistress Kogita's home? Let's go back. So I have no choice but to go back every time. Wonderful, then we can see if Mistress Kogita has any more insights to share with us. So that's Yuxi's claw. I sense a warmth to it. I do have to wonder if everyone, anyone else has ever completed the trial to these lake Pokemon. Indeed. And we may want to add just a dash more speed, thanks in Jubilee Village or Tents. What makes you say so? It seems that Pokemon's been glimpsed on the other side of the rift. One of these, those Ginkgo Guild merchants informed me, me that Commander Commodore has raised a force. Not to survey the Pokemon, but to subdue it. Should the need arise. One of the Ginkgo Guild merchants, you make it sound as if you're not one of them. Now, if, if a Pokemon truly were to appear from beyond the rift, what would become of everyone, I wonder? The Lihis Wii's great fastness stop you, Cell. Let's go get the final item we need. That's the spirit. I'll come watch this historic moment unfold, too. Watch, is that all you really do? Remember, once you've sought the third lake and found what's needed for the red chain, make for the shrouded ruins. Which are... where? Because I have no clue. Alright, we are heading down to... Here. Oh, this is the ancient retreat, okay. The 
You know what about Lake Valor? It's said to have been formed by volcanic eruption much like Lake Parity. Though there are also those other theories that say it was carved out in the midst of a Pokemon battle. This lake is protected by the Pokemon Azel. When Azel took flight, the will to do what it needs doing was born in people's hearts. But that is what the legend would tell it, have us believe. Your phone is beeping. Don't you dare look surprised again. But I tell you to. You've seen this twice now. Shouldn't be a surprising a third time. Or a second. Oh, a cave appears where there was none, as if it just for sale. It's hidden cell. I imagine strong Pokemon could wait inside. Protecting the Pokemon of the lake. Take care. Will do. Hopefully it's one that, you know, won't be defeated so easily. So I can catch it. Or preferably one I have so I can just defeat it. When you reach space, why would there be columns inside a cave anyway? The heck? Menacing Pokemon waits before you. Let yourself sell this quills like fishes. Uh... Is this an evolved form of quillfish? Or is it literally just quillfish? No, it has to be an evolved form. Speaking of quillfish, did I ever catch quillfish or did I just uh, keep... Aggroing in it right away. Overquill. What a name. Jesus. Psychic. Oh. Huh? Okay then. Psychic does not work on Overquill. Wait, ground works? What is this crap? Okay, Snorlax again. Fight, horsepower, natural style. Ultra Ball, go. I've never caught an Overquill, so this will be interesting. Oh, come on. You're the only one that gets out. Really? Thanks. Thanks for doing that. I have to take the risk, otherwise it might take itself out. Got it! Overquill is ours! Woo! That's a nick of time! Poor Alakazam. I knew you could do it, Cell. So. Was there any doubt? Hello there, Az Azel. Show to me unyielding well. Strike me if you can. What? Wait, bombs, are you meant to try to hit Azel with them then? to your voice inside your head. Why you abandon this folly? I'm not through yet. So, I'm not actually supposed to hit him. I'm supposed to never give up. Show my will.
The team tried best to give up, but you continue regardless. I'm not through yet. Dang it. I'm trying to guess. Give up, you struggle in vain. Will you yet press on? I'm not through yet. The Oz Elf let me hit it there that time. Take this piece of the spirit to the bind the world once more. You obtained herself Spang. That looked exhausting, but now we've journeyed to all three lakes. That we have? And it was exhausting. I wasn't ever gonna give up though, because obviously it was a test of wills. See which one would get more annoyed. Herself in fact that I could never hit it? Or me for finally just deciding to say, uh, uh it's not worth it and give up. It seems we finished the three lake trials. If I remember correctly, we were told to head for the shrouded ruins. I don't know what could wait us there, but I'm always excited to explore some ancient ruins. Let us be on our way. Could you teleport me there yourself? Yes, you can. I guess to see why this one's last. The shrouded ruins. This is so good, very good at obscuring things, it's long been said to blur boundaries. If we're to somehow bring po together the world of humans, the world of Pokemon, and the world of myth, then maybe we need a setting such as this. That being said, what are we meant to do now? Seems I've made it in time. You arrived us when we dissembled all three gifts, and you somehow see our progress across the distance, distance dividing us. I had the aid of a rather remarkable Pokemon, if you really wish to know. But you mean that, that Pokemon that fl flits about the history region? Ah, oh, but never mind that now. What about the red chain? How are we to forge it? I would hardly know. We speak of, the, of a divine instrument one said to be capable of binding the very world. You really imagine it can be forged by mortal hands? Then what are we to do? It's such an entire vastness of history for the answer. <laughs> yeah, it's all three of them. Ah, uh, the Pokemon of the lakes. Here's the red chain. That binds the world. You received the red chain. Thank you, you three. So it was true. The pact our people have passed down for all these generations has been kept at last. I can set this burden aside. You succeeded once again, Sal. Yet things do not seem to be going so well for the rest of the world. What have you heard now? I've had some news from my fellow merchants in the Ginkgo Guild. Seems that the commander is going to forego waiting for our investigation to finish. He plans to climb Mount Korone himself. So I'm, I'm, I'm assuming I'm going to have to fight him and uh, stop him from getting to the top. As he lost his senses, he plans to get close to the rift to study it himself. Well, he doesn't yet know that our cell has managed to get the red chain now, does he? That's true, there's no way he could. We need to tell him about the chain and about everything Cell has achieved before. He sets out. Isui Village. It hasn't been that long. Since I've been exiled. Ray? 
Huh. Wait, Cell, it's you. I can't believe I just let you pass right by. Thank goodness you're still alive. I mean, of course you are. I knew you'd be alright. Wait one second, I'll go let the captain and the professor know you're back. Oh, my dear Cell! Professor, I know you've been worried about Cell, but there's no need to cry. I'm not crying. Do not mock your elders, if you please, Ray. <laughs> and besides, which you're the one who couldn't get a wink of sleep from all your worrying for our friend. You didn't have to tell her that. Let's ignore him, Cell. Anyway, where's Captain Silene? Why isn't she coming with you, Professor? She's buried under a mound of work. I'm afraid we're to join her in the Survey Corps' office. Seems her hands are more than full now. The Commander Commodore's gone. The Commander's gone? Well, he set out for Mount Cordonnet with the Security Corps in tow. He's determined to handle this whole space-time rift business himself, including dealing with the Pokémon that's been spotted on the other side. And since I'm such a fine fellow, I took over watching the gate for the Security Corps folks. Well, we aren't getting anywhere out here. Let's head inside and report to the Captain. All right. Say, so man's not to die, just as I ordered. Well done. Thanks to you, Captain. I owe it to you, Anita. <laughs> it's a secret. I'm not saying that. I have no idea what you're implying. All I know is that we finished of its own accord, inconveniencing me greatly. <laughs> yeah. What if another wormhole just so happened to show up in your di your office? Before I'm moving forward, I must ask. I assume that you are here again because you've managed to learn something of yours. Uh, got this red chain. Go on. Explain about the red chain you obtained. A legendary tool is said to bind the very world. Commander Commodore is no longer here in Tube Life Village. The security corps has been surveying the area around the space time rift. And have reported sightings of something on the other side of it. Something that resembled a Pokemon. The commander made the decision to take the security corps to the mountain so as to prepare to fend off against any possible threat. They were to make for the temple at the peak. The bots may be tough, but it still seems like a bad idea to do something so risky without Cell's help. As the captain of the survey corps, I hereby order you to proceed as follows. Cell. Take the, that red chain to Mount Cordonnet. Make your way to the peak and put an end to all of this. You are officially reinstated at your former rank. Hey, all right, atop Mount Cordonnet. Are you sure, Captain? The boss isn't around to approve that. If he didn't wish me to decide things in his place, then he should not have left me in charge here. <laughs> that all go as well. Well, in this together, we members of the Survey Corps. Naturally, no one suggests you should not. So, now that I'm reinstated, I can get my rank to 7, right? And now, you know, Garchomp will listen to me, right? We have made some progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. Rank 7! Three more to go. Feels good. Maybe now that I'm on lucky number seven, I'll finally find a shiny. You can now use Gig Gigaton Balls. All Pokemon will obey your orders reliably now. Oh yeah. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous too. And here I have this as well. It's a further recipe you'll need for crafting. Probably will never make a Gigaton Ball, but sure. Continue to dedicate yourself. Thank you! Lucario? What? Hello? Something to matter, Lucario. I'm right, and you are. Cell? 
Okay, you're Cell. Nice to meet you. What is it, Lucario? Seems Lucario sends you a strong aura, too. If you're willing to battle us, could you come to, to the training grounds? Steely, Lucario. Maybe I can, uh... Oh, God. What was that evolution called again? Mega Evolution. Lucario versus Lucario! Wait. He's not here. What? I was actually gonna do this one. Oh, he's over here. I think it's you're ready for our battle. I'm ready. Now then, let's go to small talk and proceed right to battle. That's our style. All right. Go Lucario! 62! Strong style! Close combat! Bye bye! Critical hit! <laughs> My Lucario is bigger and stronger! And our bomber snow is level 69! Nice! That was a wonderful battle. Seems we need to redo our training, Lucario. Thank you for the experience. I can tell you've met many Pokemon and that's helped make you stronger. I think we'll test our skills in other places from now on. Let's meet again. Alright. One Grit Rock. That was good training for my Lucario. Just wombo combo, one hit style. Close combat, strong, for the win. I love it. But having being a Tom Alcorn in air, I get why people might see such a thing as deity. Waterstone. That's my first one. Since it's rock that can be raised the effort level for one Pokemon of a state Pokemon status. I mean, it's only if the effort level has already reached level nine. Not bad. Did you find the commander cell? The commander is already on Mount Cordonet. Cordonet. Already? How could a grown man like Commander Comet be so reckless? First expelling your cell, and now this. I think he needs a stern talking to. As leader of the Pearl Clan, loyal to Almighty Sinnoh, who reigns over all space, I can go anywhere and vast heats me that I please. And I'm going to go and stop the commander. Hmm. <laughs> so, who is the reckless one? This kid again. Hey, you got run out of the village, right? But are you still trying to find a way to help us all? That's right. That's right! Cell worked hard to get that red chain to help everybody. Who, oh, too, right? And a fine job she did, too. The Survey Corps is always hard at work for the sake of everyone here in the village, as well as for the sake of our relations with Pokemon. Thanks, here, take this. Hey, Max Survive, alright. First, first one I've seen in this game. The orders are three. One make for the summit camp, and from there, the Temple of Sinnoh. Two use the red chain to resolve this mess. And three return here alive. Yes, ma'am. 